but here they're trying to maintain a connection with their roots. They're speaking their language, Amharic, hearing folk tales and learning traditional dance moves. You need to know a lot about your culture if you, because you can't just learn about another culture and think, oh, I'm from that culture. You have to think about your old culture too. The camp is organized by Washington's Ethiopian Community Center, which works a lot with recent migrants. Hermela Kebede has been running it for 20 years and is aware of the two worlds the children live in. Identity is a very important thing, you know, for kids to have their own identity. I mean, they're here in the United States, they are, you know, American, Ethiopian Americans, but still uh, they have to keep their heritage, their identity. It's very important. That's who they are. Ethiopians have put down strong roots here. And while young people at the summer camp have been exploring their emotional and cultural relationships with home, there are also plenty of people in the Ethiopian diaspora who are making enormous financial investments back home. The core hospital diagnostic and treatment. A group of Ethiopian doctors living in the diaspora have put together a plan to build a multi-million dollar private hospital in the Ethiopian capital, Addis Ababa. It is hoped it will be up and running by 2017. There is an emotional attachment to their country. So I don't think they made investment in this or time and so forth thinking they're going to get rich. So for them, this is uh, just a wonderful opportunity to, uh, to give back and uh, be a part of something transformational.